they forget that you're there. And there are moments when I, you know, something would be said or done, and I would say, "Oh, I, I hope no one realizes I'm in the room." And you just kind of be like, "Please don't realize I'm." In. And then, you know, and usually they wouldn't, you know, and you just kind of like sulk down. You know, that those are like funny moments happen, but that's just the nature of that job. You're so invisible, and that's why you know these pictures happen. And and um and you know to bring it back to Stephen Stephen's point, you know. That's the same with, you know, people like Doug and Steven and, you know, these photographers that the president knows and respects. It really would be the same kind of thing to, you know, that uh, particularly if it's a photographer he knows, he forgets. He, he you know, he's doing his job. And that's an argument that, that, that I think is an effective argument for the press to make is, um, you know, they're just as invisible after the first five minutes as, as a White House photographer. Well, um, I think... And, I th I think, uh, Smith, I think though people like like uh, Stephen and Doug and Dennis who've been around for a number of years and, and have spent a lot of time with each of these presidents, they become more comfortable, right? The president's going to become more comfortable with Stephen because he's used to having them around. I mean, George Bush was looking, you know, looking for him on the plane, right? So it's like the more you're around them, the more I was around the president and the first lady, the more comfortable they are with me, you know, the same with you, right? So I think if the press photographers are around them a lot, then yeah, they become invisible. I appreciate the point about invisibility, invisibility transparency, or, uh, it becomes almost like gender neutral, but then there's many images I thought, Samantha in particular, you took that were uh, very uh, distinct, let's say. There's the one image uh, that I think I can remember that uh, has Michelle Obama uh, on a couch, and you don't see, you only see uh, this beautiful flow of dress, just the most beautiful image, the most striking image, and a man would not have taken that image. And so I, I totally appreciate the point about we're just like, you know, we're just a photographer and then everyone disappears and, and they don't know we're here, but, but if you could, that image, for example, if you could speak to that for a minute, it was just, I mean, it was so exquisite, it was, you know, it was, it was, it was very intimate and it was, a man would not have taken that picture, I don't think. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know, I mean, it's a, you know, it's a fairly, it's a, it's a fairly graphic picture, but it is emotional as well, which is a hard thing to have a very graphic and emotional image. Um, it's she was getting ready for an interview, a press interview, and um, maybe a man would. I mean, she's the, the elegance of the moment. They, um, you know, it's hard to say. I don't know. I, I, I think when um, I'm always interested in, with editors, I'd like to hear what Mike has to say about this. If you put up anonymous pictures, could you tell if a man or a woman took them? Um, I'm not sure, but that does speak to the intimacy of that I can sit at her feet and, you know, she wouldn't find it strange. I mean, that that took a while, particularly her, because she hadn't been around photographers a lot, you know, when, when she came into the White House. And I remember the moment, the breakthrough moment, I was sitting, you know, inches away from her for 20 minutes, and all of a sudden she looked down and she said, how long have you been here? And I said, oh, the whole time. And she said, don't be offended, but I just noticed that you were there. I said, you made my day. That's like, <laughs> we've arrived. Our relationship has arrived when you don't notice me. <laughs>